Yeah. What I would say is uh, eat less, sleep more, okay. work out more, talk more. Okay. And yeah. it's okay to feel sad, helpless, angry, okay. uh, broken. It's okay. Hi, how are you? I'm absolutely fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for agreeing the interview with us, sir. Uh, I know it must have been really difficult for you to take out the time, but yeah. Well, things are starting back again, so. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> absolutely. Crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, so that you know that it's the Men's Health Week and you have been the advocate of health when it comes to your role. In real life also, we have seen you doing so much of horse riding for your fitness. You have been doing so much of gymming and everything. So yeah, we really wanted you to uh, you know, answer a few of our questions, which we have received from our audience and our people who wants to know your fitness secrets and a little peek into your personal life also. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, sir, I really wanted to know, and I would say that was the most, one of the most, uh, you know, question that we have received from almost everybody was that, that how do you keep yourself fit in the present lockdown? Uh, you have to not indulge too much uh, in eating, which I did. So to compensate that, um, I uh, converted my bar into a gym. Uh, so I uh, was fortunate enough to have that, but otherwise, just a few dumbbells, push-ups, you know, uh, squats, sit-ups. You can do a lot in just a little small space. And that's how I've been able to do it. Though uh, later in the lockdown, I did manage to get some barbells and a bench and all those things so that, you know, one can keep up uh, uh, and be healthy and presentable in spite of sitting on a couch and watching TV and eating all the time. <laughs> So rather than doing being a couch potato or watching Netflix, it's better to do a little running up down the stairs if nothing else is available. Yeah, stairs is a good idea. I go for a walk in the building itself <clears throat> in the evening. Um, there is a formula that uh, you can use. Uh, it's 220 minus age into, uh, uh, sorry, into uh, 220 minus age into 65%. Okay. That should be your heart rate for a slow burn. So I've been walking downstairs. I take my dog for a walk and all that. So all that combined, uh, you know, I have managed to look uh, okay in spite of the... Oh, oh come on. You know, <laughs> yeah, I managed to look as flawless as a person can be. But thank you so much for the great formula. So yeah, so the next first question is that you have already answered it in a, some way, but it's that what is your go-to at home fitness regime? I mean, if there's some exercise or some fitness regime that you swear by that should be done by everybody. Uh, all you need is a, is a bench, if not even a bench, some dumbbells, five kilos, 10 kilos, 15 kilos, and probably a yoga mat. And uh, you can do like, uh, you know, your whole body workout with it as well as, uh, you know, some stretching and stuff like that. So that's all you need. And even if you don't have dumbbells, you can do freehand exercises, you know, uh, freehand push-ups, uh, pull-ups if you've got a bar, squats, yeah. stuff like that. I mean, uh, there are many, many videos and, you know, on Instagram and YouTube available where you can check out any kind of workout and, and apply it. The point is to have the will to do it. And the secret is to have an exact time that you do it on. True. Because okay. if you randomly, uh, so you have to have an exact time. You have to form a routine. That's how I managed through the pandemic. There was a routine, certain time you slept, certain time you woke up, certain time you went to the gym. So if those things are set, everything else falls around them. And then you've got to, you know, our human tendency in these times, in modern times, where we are addicted to go by the watch and timing, keeping appointments, keeping meetings, going for shoots or whatever. So having a little bit of that in this uh, uh, lockdown is a good thing. True, true. So I mean, so discipline would be like our one point thing that should be there in everybody's life if they want to achieve the fitness that they are looking for. Yeah, I mean... It's simple, you know, uh, you have to, uh, you have to uh, put out as much as you put in. 
you know <laughs> if you're putting in more than you're putting out then you will gain weight and if you're putting less than you're putting out you will lose weight it's very simple sure. it doesn't have to be complicated yeah. so if you watch your diet uh, and uh, a little bit i mean i am i eat a lot of ice creams and chocolates and chocolate <laughs> milk and all that stuff ghee and everything so for me it it is a, it is necessary for me to do it almost every day but even if you do it 3 days a week 5 days a week it's it's great true, true. it's enough it's enough absolutely it's enough so and walk, it's walk. you should be you should put out at least 150 minutes of walking brisk walking at the heart rate of 220 minus age into 65% and you will see a lot of difference yeah because okay. that heart rate that particular heart rate is called a slow burn which okay. attacks the accumulated fat whether whereas when you have a higher heart rate uh, you are attacking what you've just eaten or you're eating into your own body and muscles True. so if you want to attack stored weight then it has to be a slow burn Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the great advice. I think my little talisman. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the third question is, sir, that okay, when it comes to men's health, do you feel that mental health is not given much of an importance? Not in India alone, maybe around the world. I feel that is the case for sure because uh, let's take the Indian Indian scenario to begin with. uh especially north indian scenario where i come from men are not supposed to express their emotions uh men are you know uh, supposed to be these strong silent you know take it all in uh, uh not cry and all those things that's something women do and it's all very wrong notions i believe because all that accumulates and then you can get uh, you know anxiety or even a heart attack if you keep accumulating that stress so it's a, it's very important to express it whether you do it to your spouse your friend or somebody you have to have an outlet and uh, to be able to talk about your uh, problems not just problems of uh, money and this and that but problems of you know why you're not feeling happy Uh, or you know you know you're in a certain state of yeah you're not your uh, you know happy true self true. Uh, which we all are inside yeah. uh, so for that uh, we have to pay attention to men's mental health as well because they are naturally prone to not sharing so much of their intimate thoughts uh, and also they have somewhere uh, been you know put into this bracket of people who you know should be able to deal with everything take everything in their stride and be these strong persons which is not the case we are all human beings we are all we all feel unhappy and sometimes a lot of times you are not able to find out why you are unhappy and for that you have to talk to somebody i am not saying you necessarily have to talk to a person uh, professionally but you have to talk to people around you people you feel that would not judge you or just uh, you know it it is it takes a lot it uh, a lot more bravery to talk about it than to hide it i presume absolutely i have to, i mean you just need to provide them the safe environment where they can come up and talk with you rather than family families can provide that environment absolutely sure. i agree absolutely agree. and during this lockdown it has increased way much more than it was it used to be the mental health has come in the forefront it used to be in the back front now it's in the forefront i absolutely well, i agree. i always like i have my sister i talk to my friends i talk to my father who gives me a lot of very sane advice so um sometimes i express it to my sister and i get a call from my father oh my <laughs> that's quite a connection <laughs> which is yeah, very so very they, they all talk amongst themselves so you just have to tell one person they'll all come to uh you know to help you out getting comes in <laughs> great great so sir so what alternate forms of workout have have keep you fit over the years i mean rather than just doing as you talked about running brisk walk is there your know, gymming is there has there any other uh, fitness routine alternate fitness uh, riding has been a very big source of fitness for me sure. uh, 
people think ki you sit on a horse and the horse does everything that's an absolutely wrong notion <laughs> and uh, and also uh, <laughs> that's a wrong notion and if you're riding properly like equitation riding if you're show jumping and doing dressage or playing polo or whatever that takes a lot out of you and that's been a very big help in my fitness over the years Okay. then you know i have dwelled in sports i mean i went to a sports school when i was young i was in swimming then i was in horse riding i dabbled in athletics boxing a little bit but uh, now i would uh, i have taken up for a role mma and i have continued it after that as well okay. mixed martial arts is, is a very holistic uh, discipline which includes boxing kickboxing jiu jitsu wrestling everything not that i got through all the all the disciplines but yeah so a little bit of that always gives you coordination i don't do yoga but i have friends who do yoga who which really helps them and then uh, i find it very hard to meditate but lately uh, i have been doing a, a, a 10 minute meditation thing where this uh, woman with a very beautiful voice talks you through and concentrate <laughs> on breathing and gives you things to think about so i i i enjoyed that because my form of meditation has been work uh, yeah. where i forget everything else and horse riding where i again forget everything else and uh, and and the purpose of that kind of meditation is to forget your clutter of your thoughts and concentrate on something very minutely so I think yoga can be a great help and meditation, you know. Uh, and otherwise, um, as an actor, then you have exercises of imagination, uh, which I keep doing every now and then, you know, uh, which are very important because I believe it's observation and, and imagination. So keeping other, these are my other alternate uh, kind yeah. of, you know, things I would do besides just uh, turning out a few sets in a gym. True. The woman with the beautiful voice always makes me sleepy. <laughs> I don't know how you cope up with us during <laughs> that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, it's good, good before an afternoon nap. Afternoon sure. nap, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any red carpet secrets that you help you look so dapper? I mean, I have seen almost all of your movies from Radhe to Sarabji to your um um. Once upon a time in Mumbai, to the, this one that you did with Chris Hemsworth, and everywhere you look so stunning. So, do you have like any red carpet secrets that you want to share with your fans? Uh, thank you for your compliment. I don't know whether I look stunning all the time or not, but <laughs> I don't go to many red carpet things actually. Uh, okay. Over the years, I've started finding them more and more frivolous uh, to attend, and I have attended in the past. But when you, if you do attend, uh you should uh, if there is an important occasion if you spend some time into planning what you would look like whether it's thematically or the occasion or uh, uh what you want to represent uh and if you wear it without feeling that you're wearing it i think you look good <laughs> you have to wear it and forget it uh if you keep thinking about that special thing you're wearing i think i don't think it'll work out you should wear it forget it planet wear it forget it okay and uh, yeah but i am more and more inclined to do it less and less okay so the secret is planet wear it forget it <laughs> that should yeah. the followers should follow great if you're conscious of what you're wearing no matter what you're wearing you're not going to look good that's what i feel absolutely so uh, easy tips on health how to dress well and fitness and diet that men should follow i mean you can follow say one by one i am i am not the best example i i am not really made up all the time usually shabby and uh, you know it's it's just my way of not uh, trying to you know just being yourself rather than trying to be something but you know get a nice haircut um, whatever you whatever suit you like you did <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever whatever suits you as an actor i i have uh, had to change i like changing my appearance and i've had to change it for many 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 roles so a lot of times i really don't know myself what i actually look like uh, like right now i'm looking like uh, uh, inspector avinash on a long holiday okay. or suspension <laughs> which i've been shooting so <laughs> uh, but you know just uh, 
I don't know, just get a get a good haircut that you like, uh, wear comfortable clothes and uh, uh, be mindful of what where you are, you know, and you, sure. I mean, it's very cool to turn up in torn jeans and t-shirts somewhere and it's very uncool to do so. So keep, just keep that in mind and eat healthy, uh, eat a balanced diet, get some vitamins in you. Um, you know, have a daily routine in the morning, you know, eat some fruit. Uh, if you can eat early uh, and have a longer fasting period, it's good. Okay. I have tried that and it's, it's really good. It helps you because it gives your digestive system a bit of a break because yeah. your digestive system is at it 24 seven as your heart is, but you know, your, so your digestive system, I think you should give it a rest and, um, for that, if you like, you know, in the Hindu uh, uh, belief, there is a uh, uh, there is this vrat rakhne ki jo parampara hoti hai, where you fast from Mondays or Tuesdays. I think that's scientifically very good. I so that is something. Don't leave it to just the women. That's something you can uh, uh, you can adopt for sure. cleansing of your system, and then uh, um, you know. Um, yeah, so it's what you eat and uh, uh, what you put out, basically. It's, it's, um, I would say if you drink, drink moderately. If you smoke, don't smoke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so all those things. So, yeah. But I know those things, if you're used to them, are very hard to quit. But if you have a certain sense of balance to it and keep giving it a break, yeah. then it's it's. Okay. True. So now we have come down to our rapid fire question round. So I'm going to ask you a question. You need to answer the first thing that comes in your mind, according to it. Okay. Should we start? Yeah, sure. Okay. So who is the best dressed man in Bollywood? Oh. <laughs> you can say uh, you best dressed dress man. Um, uh, Shah Rukh is. Salman is. Okay. Uh, Arjun Rampal is. True. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So who is the fitness icon in India? Oh, I think for the longest time, the fitness icon has been Salman Khan. I mean, uh, I remember in our school days, guys used to have pictures of Salman Khan stuck with a toothpaste in their almiras. <laughs> and the whole, you know, the bodybuilding thing. So he brought it to four. Then there are other very fit young actors. I mean, there is Tiger and there is Vidyut uh, and uh, Varun is very fit and so is Ranveer. So there are a lot of uh, fit people. But over the years, for a long, long time, Salman Khan has uh, been that for uh, the majority of people. True. Yeah. The one who has remained the consistent one throughout these years. Yes, 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 yes. So any sports personality? And in, and in the West, and in the West, it would be Chris Hemsworth without yeah, a doubt. That was in my question. <laughs> <laughs> you answered it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that would be Chris Hemsworth. Uh, I mean, uh, he has reduced in between as well, uh, yeah. playing Thor and, and in extraction, he was not as bulky. But he is somebody who's constantly into fitness, and he's even got an app called Center Fit which I think is a great way for people to, you know, get tips from the best of the best. So that's a good, good way to, to, to go about it. That's great. Thank you. So uh, mm -hmm. any sports personality that you wish to pick in a biopic movie? I mean, that you want to play. Oh, um, I played many biopics, but I have not played any sports biopics. Yeah. Um, I was going to play, uh, I mean, I would, I would I would love to play a boxer or a wrestler. Okay. Yeah. Horse rider. I don't know. Horse rider uh, would be a perfect fit. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, oh yeah, I have played sports. I, I did MMA for Dolabzo Ki Kahani where I played. Yeah, MMA sure, sports. sure. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, but that was not a biopic, but yeah, <laughs> some, some boxer or some wrestler or some, you know, something like that. But uh, for, uh, for what I, for the kind of different things I would get, yeah. I'd probably get a fencer. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> and I really hope that if any producer or director will watch this interview, it's gonna get awesome. <laughs> okay, so pick one. It's yoga or gym. It's gym for me. Okay, parante or cornflakes. Sorry. Parante. 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 Yeah, Any day. Our breakfast or cornflakes. Any day. I have them quite often. Often, <laughs> true. Weird or cute? Alu ke, piyaz ke, mooli ke, dawa ke, maftan, bada sa rak ke, mirchi ka acha. Absolutely, a winner any day. With yeah. the lassi ka glass on the side? Yeah, or milk. Or, or milk. <laughs> okay. So, uh, weird or clean shaven? Clean shaven. Clean shaven. But we hardly see you. No, we have seen you in a lot of movies, but you have been clean shaven, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, movies is different. <laughs> I'm <laughs> but, talking about real life. Yeah. Beard. I've had a beard this long, you know, okay. and hair yeah. that long. Where I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's very hard. It's like having a puppy on your chin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I respect the really? people, especially the Sikh community, that have had it forever. It, it it was something. It was an experience in itself. Yeah. True. Okay. So running on a treadmill or a brisk walking? I think I know the answer. Brisk walking. Yeah. Yeah. Brisk walking. <laughs> brisk walking. Yeah. You know, you you're in you're in nature. Uh, most likely, there is breeze. There is things. There are sounds. And uh, you know, I enjoy that more than you know, just putting in putting out some calories. True. You got to enjoy. You will only do. You will only be consistent over the years, and no, anybody can build a body in three months, six months. It is to keep it like that or near that for a longer uh, period of time. Yeah, which is very hard. Sure. So choose something which can be you can be consistent with, and how I believe you can be consistent with something is to enjoy it. If you yeah. enjoy it, you will keep doing it. So choose something you really enjoy, which is obviously not just sitting there and playing cards or playing carom, but requires <laughs> your body to move around. Yeah. Uh, choose something you enjoy and you will continue doing it and it will keep your body in good rhythm. So watching Netflix that certainly does not come into it. <laughs> Unless you are doing some biceps while doing Along with uh, it. <laughs> sit-ups while watching Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's, a, that's a great way of doing it sometimes. You know, you just put on a program you like and and you just keep watching it and uh, keep uh, belting out sets, you know. Okay. That's great. I think a lot of people are going to like that advice in particular. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, what will be... Um, I mean, you already told me that Chris Hemsworth is one of the most fittest one in the Hollywood. But who is your role model when it comes to fitness in Bollywood and Hollywood? I mean, one, one name each. Fitness. Well, my idea of fitness varies. Okay. Because I have uh, thing. I mean, depends on the role I'm doing. All roles, like for example, I'm doing Inspector Binash now. Yeah. But if I look like I've been belting three hours in the gym and I'm on a carbless diet uh, and on protein shakes and only that, and you know. Uh, and whereas I am playing a UP cop, yes, he looks fit. He must be doing some push-ups or something. or must have done it in his life. <laughs> but now, drink, now drinks every day and has a kid. And uh, yeah, they eat whatever, whenever they can get. So what would that person look like? That person will not look like, uh, you and know. A <laughs> really, uh, yeah, and a really ripped uh, a uh, bodied person who which is only possible if you are in the gym all the time uh, or you're working on that all the time so depending on what a role i'm playing but in dolab zonki kahani i was playing a fighter and i was a, a beast at that time i was weighed 95 kilos then in sarabjit i was a prisoner who used to get one roti a day so exactly. that was my uh, uh, that so mine keeps changing so i mean for a particular role if i'd like then i would probably say uh, uh, something like that. If I was going to do an action star role, Chris is a great example. Mm. And then if I was to, you know, Christian Bale's body shifting has been absolutely amazing. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, who's oh. naturally lanky, which I am not because I'm from Haryana and since <laughs> childhood, sugar, 
and dairy, sugar, dairy, sugar, dairy, and gluten till yeah. they go into your body. You don't feel like you've eaten anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it comes with a lots of love from our grandmothers. How can we miss that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the last question that I want you to answer us for is that message for your fans on mental men's health week. I mean, it could be physical and mental both. I mean, what advice do you want to give to our you viewers, your fans? It's a very bra- broad uh, question that you are asking, I, but what I would say is, uh, eat less, sleep more, okay. work out more, talk more. Okay. And. Yeah. It's okay to feel sad, helpless, angry, okay. uh, broken. It's okay. As long as you know that it is a phase and it will pass. It will pass. There is only one constant in life that is change. If things didn't stay good, they won't stay bad either. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you so much for taking out time once again for us. And my pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye.